to write on academia. We are still on our series on our cash book. Okay, in our previous videos, we were able to look at the one column cash book. So today we are going to be looking at our two column cash book. Like I said, like I said, in our one column cash book, we only have just one column for amounts. So in our two column cash book, we'll be having two columns for amount. Okay, that is in this case, the business both have a cash account and then a bank account. Okay, so they can receive money from customers and they can also receive transfers. So our two column cash book receive both cash or it deals with cash received and paid. Received by the business or paid as well as all transfer payments or checks received or issued by the business. Okay, every transfer that the business make in payment or they receive, okay, from their customers in payment or settlement, as well as check involved. Okay, now so our format is very similar because our cash book is part of the double entry. So we are having a debit and credit side, okay, the debit and the credit side. This is our debit side and our credit side. On our debit side, we have column for dates, particular folio and then like i said it's a two column cash book right so we have two columns for amounts the same on the credit side we have this particular we have our folio and then we have two columns for amounts okay single of this so that we can have enough space so this is it we have our date and particular Portfolio. In this case, we have our cash. Okay, this is where we have cash and bank and cash in hand. Okay, so we have cash and bank column. We have our date. This is our two column cash. Our debit side still record all money coming in our receipt, okay? This is our guidelines that all the money coming into the business is debited and all the money going out is credited, all the payments, okay? All the money going out is credited, money coming in is debited. Alright, so to this effect, because of the presence of the cash and bank, the presence of the cash and bank in this cash book, we have to look at an accounting technology known as the contra entry. So we have to look at this before we go to application. All right. So our contra entry is a word, an accounting technology that is used to express or is used to mean that cash was taken to the bank or cash was withdrawn from the bank for business use. Now, in our previous video, I said something that when cash is withdrawn from the business for private use, it is referred to as drawings for private or personal use. It's referred to as drawings from, by the proprietor, okay? But in the case where cash is withdrawn from the bank, for business use, that is the proprietor going to withdraw money from the bank to use it on the business. In that case, it is no longer drawings. What what occurred is a contra entry. So it means the contra entry will be affecting the cash and the bank. All right, one account of cash will be credited, either cash, and then bank will be debited. In the case where, um, let's let's assume that the business is withdrawing cash from the bank for business use, then we will be crediting our bank account, okay, because money is leaving the bank account and then debiting our cash because money is coming to the business. So our contra entry is used to show that the, the movement of money from the cash to the bank account or from the bank to the cash account. So as we see more examples, we'll be understanding that better. So we're going to be taking some illustration very quickly. Now we are asked to write up a two column cash book from the transaction of John Martin's venture, okay? The first thing we'll be doing is to be entering the owner of the account. All 
All right. We have entered in for John Martin's venture. Okay, and they are going to be balancing of the account at the end of the month. I, I think if you followed us, you you'll be able to work with us in our one column cargo. How we're able to balance our account, and we'll still be doing that in this video also. Now we have that on the first of May, all right, on the first of May, twenty thirteen, commence business with a cash of sixty thousand naira and a bank balance of eighty thousand naira. So now we have two, um, we have two um amounts or should i say we have two details card is cash at bank and then there is cash in hand there was a cash of sixty thousand naira and a bank balance it was also money in the bank okay of eighty thousand naira so we are commencing business and the word the technology there is capital right so on the first of may debit side money is coming into the business on the first of may 2013 all right our particular year is capital. We'll be finding this in our ledger. Okay, the cash was 60,000 naira. And the amount in our bank was 80,000 naira. So we are separating our money into two. All right, the money in the hand and the money that was in the bank. Now, on the 2nd of May 2013, we paid for insurance. Okay, we paid for insurance cover for the show. 30,000 naira cash on the second. So we paid for insurance. If we were paying for insurance, that means money was leaving the business. And then this payment was made in cash. Okay? So it will be affecting the cash account. This money was made in, the payment was made in cash. So on the second of May, a particular year is insurance. So we'll be looking at that in our insurance account okay a cash of thirty thousand naira all right now the next one we are having on the third of may we received a bank loan we received a bank loan of forty thousand naira by check okay the loan was given to us by check so it has to it will be increasing our bank balance okay our bank balance will be increased so the money is coming into the business right so on the third Okay, we have the loan. We have the loan. And then we can find this in our loan account anyway. In our loan account, in our ledger. And then the amount for the loan was 40,000 naira and it came by check. So since it came by check, we'll be entering it under the bank column. Alright? Good. So in our next transaction, we have on the 15th of May, we made purchases by check. 20,000 naira. So we purchase goods. Like I said, purchases is a technology that is used to refer to when the business goods is bought for resale. Goods bought for resale, we turn them as purchases. Purchases was made by check, 20,000 naira. So it will be affecting our bank balance, right? Money will be leaving the business, leaving the business bank account. So we have on the 15th of May. We have purchases. Okay, purchases account going to be our folio, not the cash, but the bank account. Okay, since it was made by check, it will be affecting the bank account. So money is leaving our bank account. Now we have on the 16th of May that we sold goods of 30,000 naira by cash. That means as we sold goods, we received cash. All right, so money is coming into the business, into the business cash account. All right, so we'll be having on the 16th of May. So here we have our sales, okay? When the business was sold, to be affecting our sales, and we can see the reference in our sales ledger or sales account, all right, for 30,000 euro cash. Okay, not the bank account. Okay, so the next we are having is on the 17th of the same month we paid electricity bill by cash a cash of eight thousand naira electricity bill was paid money is going out of the business going out to be crediting all right and on the 17th we have electricity okay our folio here will be seen in our electricity account cash of 
I think our cash was 8,000 naira. Not our bank account. Okay. Now, the next one we are having is on the 20th of May, we made withdrawal. We withdrew 40,000 naira from the bank for office use, not for private use, not for personal use, but for office use. So money withdrawn from the bank for office use is what gives rise to cultural entry, all right? So it was the same movement of money within the business, all right, from the bank to the cash account. We withdrew from the bank for business use, office use. So this is a cultural entry. So we'll be debiting the bank, we'll be crediting the bank account. Since we are withdrawing money, the bank account will be reducing. Money is going out of the bank account. Money is coming into the cash account. So we we'll have to be entering this transaction in two places. All right, contra entry. And we we'll have to enter it in the two sides, both debit and credit, because the money is leaving the bank account to the cash account. And then the bank account is reducing, the cash account is increasing. All right, so we'll be crediting our bank account and then debiting our cash account. So on that same day, the date is 20th. All right, so on the 20th, all right, here we are going to be crediting our bank account because money is leaving the bank, okay? So we'll be entering in, a particular here will be cash. This is a contra entry, all right? The amount given the bank was 40,000 naira. So we'll be entering it under the bank. We are debiting our bank, uh, crediting our bank account, 40,000 naira. Money is leaving our bank and then coming to the cash. So this same date, all right, which is on the 20th. So the bank is a particular in this case. This is a contract entry, all right? And then the amount coming to our cash account is 40,000 naira. All right, so this is how our contract entry is being entered on both sides. Now, the next one we have, we have on the 21st of May. Car sales load directly into the bank, 10,000 naira. Car sales was load directly into the bank. Okay, that means the sales, cash was not received. The person that bought the goods paid directly to our bank account, okay? So we'll be entering on the 21st of, of May. The amount is 10,000 naira. So on the 21st of May, so we have sales. All right, but in this case it was bank. You can see this in our sales account or sales ledger. Cash was not given to us, but it was entered into the bank. Ten thousand naira. So that's not the contra entry. So the next one we are having is cash banked on the twenty third. Cash banked. That is cash was taken to the bank. Okay, cash was taken to the bank twenty four. Thousand naira on the twenty third. This is also a contra entry. Cash was taken into the bank. That means we we'll be crediting our cash account since money is going out of the cash account and then debiting our bank account because the bank account is receiving. It's a contra entry. So we'll be entering that as well two times. So let's go to credit our cash account on the twenty third. The amount is twenty four thousand naira on the twenty third. Okay. In this case. It is our cash given to the bank, okay? Cash is going to the bank, and that contract entry of 24,000 naira. Right? And then on this same date, 23rd, the bank will be receiving from the cash account, okay? It's still a contract entry, not the cash. The bank will be receiving an amount of 24. Thousand naira. So this is how our cash, our contract entry is treated. We enter them twice, both debit and credit side. So the cash is given, all right. The bank is receiving, and where the bank was giving out, cash was receiving. Okay. So the next one we have is we drew cash for domestic. The domestic lender was for personal. Okay. So on the thirty first of May. We drew cash for domestic use, domestic or personal use, 6,000 naira. So when we withdraw, that is for personal use, it's no longer a contract entry, it's now drawings. So on the 31st of May, we withdrew cash for domestic use. This is our drawings. Alright, so we can see this in our drawings account. 
Cash was withdrawn. Six thousand naira. Cash was withdrawn. Okay, six thousand naira. We can see that in our drawings. And that's our portfolio. And then the last transaction we have on the same thirty first, we paid twenty thousand naira cash as the part payment of the bank loan. We paid twenty thousand naira cash. So cash is still going out, okay? As part payment of the bank loan, we took a loan before, right? So we are making part payment of the bank loan. We are paying twenty thousand naira cash. So on the thirty first. Okay, so a particular here we, we made our loan. If you want, you can put loan repayment, okay? Loan repayment or loan, anyone. Loan repayment. Okay, you can see this in our loan account 20,000 naira cash. So this is our last transaction, right? This is our last transaction. We are sure with all our transactions. So what we'll be doing is we'll be balancing off our accounts. Like we said, in balancing our account, we are trying to make our account to agree, right? We want to make our cash account now. Since it is a double column, a double column or two column cash book, that is, it has to do with double column for amount. We'll be making the cash on the debit side to agree with the cash on the credit side. Making the bank on the debit side agree with the bank on the credit side. So we are balancing cash with cash and then the bank with the bank account okay in this case we are going to be going to our debit side for cash and then for bank and then the same with our credit side cash bank all right then we we'll balance off now for for our cash on the debit side quickly we'll be adding one two three we'll be having one hundred and thirty thousand naira okay and then under our bank we'll be adding one two three four all right, You're giving us. So we have added this. We are now hundred fifty-four thousand naira. Right. Then we we'll come to the credit side. We'll be adding for the cash. Under our credit side, we'll be adding cash. We'll be having 88,000 naira for the cash on our credit side, and then for the bank, we'll be having 60,000 naira. All right, so we have done the balance in cash for cash, bank for bank. So, if you can see, like we said, we want to bring the uh, total amount to agreement. Our debit side is still greater, greater than our credit side. All right, the debit for the cash, the debit for the bank is still greater than our credit side so we're going to be lessing to make this we'll take the difference between these two okay the difference between these two then we'll be having the balance carried down and the balance brought down so in taking our difference between these two we'll be having forty two thousand right then the difference between these two we'll be having one hundred and six thousand naira so this is what we refer to as our balance right now, so we'll be going at the last day of the month. Since it is our credit side that is lesser, our balance area will be going to the lesser side so that it can meet up with the bigger side, okay? So at the last day of the month, which is 31st of May, we'll be balancing our account, balance carry down, all right? For the cash, we have 42,000 naira. And then for the bank, we have 106,000 naira, all right? So when we, are, when we add these up, we can be able to meet up with the bigger side. On the same line, we have here for the cash, 130,000 naira, and then a bank total of 154,000 naira. So, that should be nice. So that should be 94. A balance of 94. So we'll be having 94,000. All right. So that will be giving us 450, 430. Okay. So on the same line, 
we take this to our cash and then we balance off for the bank we be having an amount of 154,000 naira and then we have 130,000 naira this is our, our total we are able to make them to agree by producing a balance carry down now since we have done a balance carry down that means there must be a balance brought down so for the next month which is june on the first day of june on the first of june 2013 since we have a balance carry down we'll be having a balance brought down on the opposite side okay we'll be having a balance brought down for the cash 42,000 naira and then for the bank 94,000 naira so with this we've come to the end of the two column cash book if you've not subscribed to our channel if you've not liked our videos if you've not been sharing our videos please do so okay we'll see you in our next class thank you